All right, just unboxing the new headlights here for the Camry. I like these here. Look at them. They're all chrome and black. It's got the projector there. I think these are going to look great. Ordered these off of Amazon. Showed up in two days. And we're going to be installing them here in just a few minutes. First thing we're going to do is obviously open up the hood and we're going to take the top of the bumper cover off. Looks like a couple of these little push pins, these bolts here. Looks like this bolt's already missing. <clears throat> and then once we get the pieces across the center here of the bumper cover removed, we're going to go to the wheel well. And I think there's a screw here, screw here. We're going to loosen or actually remove those. I'm going to leave the bottom connected because all we're going to need to do is just bring the bumper cover down just a few inches um, because there's going to be, to remove the headlight housing, it's going to be this. There's one right here. And then there's one 10 millimeter down there a little bit further. But then over here on the side, there's another 10 millimeter bolt right behind here. So. Let me loosen the bumper cover. So here's what I mean by we're gonna leave the bottom of the bumper cover attached. Once I removed the bolt that was up here, there was a bolt here in the center that connects from here to here. The other one was connecting from here to here. So they're just those three. Then when you got over here, there was just one 10 millimeter bolt facing straight up. Same as over here. There was one 10 millimeter bolt connecting this hole and coming right here into the fender. So that was that easy to get that off. Now we did that so we can get access to, to remove the headlight housing, we're gonna to need to get to this bolt, <clears throat> this bolt, and this bolt. Those are the bolts that are holding the actual headlight in. I'll remove those here in just a second. And also today, while doing this project, we're gonna replace all the halogen bulbs with LED bulbs. So I went ahead and already removed the fog light out of the housing. And like I said, we're gonna replace these bulbs as well. So stay tuned. So before I put it all back together, I just wanna make sure all the bulbs are working. I had to replace one of these little amber parking lights that was already burned out. But I'm glad I checked all the bulbs before I put it back together because it's easy to access all that stuff right now. But it's real simple. The headlight housing really is just these three bulbs. It's this one here, this one here, and this one here. But anyways, so these are the brand Ox Beam LEDs. Um, so the regular low beam headlight is a uh, H11 bulb and also the fog light bulb is H11 as well. I decided not to replace the uh, 9005 high beam just because this car is equipped with the daytime running light and when you replace the daytime running light with LEDs, they flicker or they are extremely, extremely bright. It's like driving around with your bright lights on and I hate when I see cars driving on the road like that. So we're just gonna leave the regular halogen bulb for the daytime running light and still your high beams are gonna be the old style halogen bulb. But I think these LEDs and that projector with the fog lights is gonna look amazing at nighttime. And here I'll hit the hazard button as well. So you can see that. But that's gonna be your turn signal over here on the side below the parking light. But now that we've verified all the lights are working, here I can show you the high beams, how they're going to be halogen still. <clears throat> There's the original halogen high beam. Now I'll put the bumper cover back up. Like I said, it's just the, uh, there's just the one bolt here. There's one here, one in the center, 
one right here, and then the other bolt in the bumper cover to the fender over here. So it's a pretty simple job, guys. Just basic tools. So far, all I've had is a Phillips screwdriver and a 10 millimeter socket on a ratchet is all I've had to use. Here is the finished product. The ox beam LED headlights and the ox beam LED fog lights. The new black housing headlight housings. Got this all off of Amazon and with Amazon Prime, two day shipping. I believe the headlight housings, I think, were 130. I think each set of LED bulbs were, I think, 39. This looks awesome. It's not like some crazy aftermarket looking headlight. Simple, clean. So this car is an SE model and SEs come with black housing headlights factory, but if you have the regular say LE or XLE Camry, I think this looks great on white. I would think silver would look awesome. And also if your car was black, it would just make the headlights, you know, look so much cleaner. I'll put a link to everything below, but stay tuned. We'll keep doing stuff to the car. I also, um, today I also did the uh, window visors. A couple weeks ago, got the windows tinted. Those are just some window visors off Amazon. I think they were like 30 bucks, like 25, 30 bucks, something like that. Then I also did the uh, tinted license plate cover and also the LED license plate lights. I think the two pack of the license plate covers were $10. I think the LED lights were like, I don't know, like 15 bucks for those. They are extremely bright. Just an awesome combination. Just to give a little bit more modernized look to your 07 through 11 Toyota Camry. But up next, I need to change the oil and also detail the car. Thanks for watching, guys.